Dave Davis of the Newberry Wolves. Coker a winner tonight, 90 to 74. As always, Coach, thank you for uh, stopping by. I want to start with your comments on the shooting from the floor. Now, each team shot exactly 63 shots. You did improve in the second half, shooting 44%, but 39% for the game. Yeah, you know, um, uh, we kind of, uh, we haven't shot, you know, this bad, but we, and we we did again tonight. I mean, we got great shots and, uh, you know, unfortunately did not make them. I thought we did, uh, you know, a pretty good job getting on the offensive glass uh, on our misses, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, it was just one of those nights, uh, Gary, where uh, just everything went wrong basically from start to finish. Uh, sometimes in life you have a really, really bad day. Uh, we really haven't had one of those. Um, when we've lost, we've we've played extremely hard, and we played. Uh, 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 actually, we've played pretty well uh, when we've lost basketball games. But tonight was just the opposite. I think you got to give Coker some of the credit. They had uh, good pressure on us. Uh, their kids were really, really fired up, and uh, you know rebounded much better than our team did. And um, their their team worked extremely hard and. Uh, and played well. I think you know there's a little disarray on our team when um, when two of your best three players are not playing. Uh, it, it changes things. It's really changed our lineups. It's it's kind of changed our mental makeup. And uh, you know we could have won uh, two out of three games. We weren't winning tonight, that's for sure. But we certainly could have won uh, at Lenore Ryan. We certainly could have won and uh, maybe should have won at Lenore Ryan and at Brevard. Um, so uh, everything gets magnified. Our players are uh, are doing a lot of things better uh, in those games, but when the scoreboard says you lose, it's uh, you know it's kind of frustrating. And and with young people, it's it's hard to uh, to get that through their heads. So I did think we were really ready to play tonight, and then as you said, we shot it extremely poorly. And it's really hard to play at our rate of speed um, without a little uh, motivation for that. And then we tried to play Gerald. Uh, in that first half, and he really couldn't move, um, and that was a you know that certainly did not help us. So um, you know we're, we're we're a little different team without Dondre Walker and without uh, Gerald Evans, but we uh, but we're a good enough team that we can win basketball games. Our players care about what's going on. They're uh, embarrassed and um, and disappointed in in what went on here tonight, and we'll uh, you know we'll try to regroup tomorrow and and, and get it going. You have to play Carson Newman on Saturday. You mentioned frustration and embarrassment. Sports, as we all know, there are streaks. You're going to run into this during sure. the season where you win four or five, you lose two or three. You've now lost three in a row. Yeah. So coupled with the fact you said the team is frustrated, how do you, from a coaching perspective, get them ready for Saturday? Well, you know, I'm blessed, uh, Gary, and I got these uh, this incredible, incredible group of kids, and I, I don't think I'm going to have to say a whole lot to them I think they are uh, uh, feeling terrible they want to represent uh, themselves their families our college uh, in a first class way and no they did not uh, play well tonight but it is just one day and uh, we'll try to put this day behind us and start a new day tomorrow and uh, and see what we can uh, make happen for Saturday and fortunately sports has a redeeming value you can put tonight behind you and get ready for Saturday no doubt about it, and uh, uh, we're, we're excited that, that we have a lot of season ahead of us, but certainly this was our worst day. Head Coach Dave Davis of the Newberry Wolves. Dave, as always, thank you. Yes, sir. I will take a 30-second break, and then I'll wrap it up on WKDK.